Hi everyone, this is Darla Lucian Studios. Welcome, welcome. I am so glad you're here today. Uh, we are going to be looking at these bookmarks. Now you might have remembered the video that we did last time um, that Rachel and I were working on this. Rachel's here as well. And, um, and so we had only gotten two kinds done. We had gotten the book page one done and the cardstock one done. And so we still have uh, file folder ones and then these off cuts from the envelopes that we wanted to do. So I, I decided last night I would work up a template. So here's an example of what we're going to be working on today. So this is a bit of napkin decoupage and then just a little bit of um, like just a little bit of snips and whatever on here and uh, some washi tape. And so we'll show you how to make this. So you'll be able to make this today and we're going to experiment with, uh, we were wanting to try napkin de decoupage on these as well, right Rachel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's get into this. Let's slide these out of the way. Okay. And Rachel worked on some more watercolors last night. So we were, we were really, really working on this. So um, what shall we start with? Shall we start with this one or shall we start with this? Uh, these ones first? Okay. So we have got some different colors. White. Uh, white with lots of like a picture printed on. I think this was from Billy Graham group. And then this is just from a bill. And these are from, I don't know, Government of Canada probably. Oh yeah. See? Government of Canada. So they've got some printing on. So the thing is with these, these are going to be belly bands. So we don't have to worry about decorating the back because they'll be stuck on the page like this. So they'll, this is our page in our journal like this. That's very pretty. Yeah. I did uh, all the coffee dyeing with some help of my son. Ooh. That looks gorgeous. Wow. I can't wait to see this in a full journal. It looks like a marble. And it still it smells like coffee. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it does. It oh, smell. so good. Now I want a nice coffee. Mm. We're still in a heat wave. It's hard to think about fall right now. But anyway, we are thinking ahead to fall because we've got some uh, big plans. Big plans. Mm. Where did I put everything? Okay. Well, I guess I should show them the new stuff there. Yeah, why don't you show them some of the new stuff? stuff. Here is the, the napkins. Where's the bigger one? It's over there. One bigger one. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I grabbed that one for you. These are all stamped. And then I... Well, I watercolored them after stamping them down. I guess I should talk louder. Yes, but... remember from the last video, you decided yeah. to be louder. I hope you're liking what we're doing. And uh, definitely hit subscribe if you mm. like the content. And Just hit the no there. notification bell. And we want to hear what you think. So definitely leave us a comment. Let's share and let's keep that in uh, inspiration rolling. Why do I want, well, always want to say information? You know, inspiration, information about inspiration. We want your information. <laughs> yeah, that too. Okay, so first things first, Rachel, I think we need to show people how uh, you take the layers off a napkin. So napkins come two or three ply. Um, if you buy them at the dollar store, they might be two ply. Usually they're three. Um, and so the first one is the one that has all the pattern on. And then these other ones are layers of white. So here is the trick that I've seen all across YouTube. Take some, tape for you. Take some scotch tape. Take some scotch tape. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Make a loopy loop. Real so it's sticky side on all out. sides. Well, I'm going to give you your own napkin. There you go. And then what? And then go to a corner, nearby corner, and stick it down and kind of pull. And you can see it start to separate away. Yeah, these only have one ply. And very carefully, if you can help it, you can maybe even pull it off so that it doesn't tear mine toward this time, sadly. But anyway, we can also use these in other projects. And we do have other projects coming where we're going to use these. So we'll just fold those up and put those to the side. So now we have... I didn't tear really. Yeah, well. nice. That's good. And then... Yeah, it's sticky. Yeah. We have... I think I did some of these last night. Oh, no, that one needs to be done. That one needs to be done. And this one could be done. So we're just gonna. Oh, yep. this one didn't even need tape. Look at that, it just came apart. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so when when you mm -hmm. take it whoa, whoa, whoa. when you take it apart, fold it back up so that they so that we can keep them, you know, reasonably flat for now, so we can see what we're doing and they won't tear. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to be as loud as you. Yeah, exactly. I got my mama projection voice going. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> That's why I'm more quiet as a mouse. The witch kid left their whatever on the floor here. Yeah. Voice. <laughs> I'm used to that. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yes, you, you're so hard done by you. There. Folded right. them up. Good. All right. So I'm just... I would like to use this bigger one. But the I big mean, one? Yeah, those, those are nice. nice. They're definitely nice. Either way, I'll use that one, then I'll use the other one, I guess. Okay, so we've got some like this. We've got some like this. Oh, and there's this one's already done, too. So I have never done this before. No. Okay, so, so you're going to have to teach me. So where's your tape? Let's put that in the trash. It's right here. Oh, sticky. All right. So I'm going to take this one. We don't need these for right now, so we're just going to put these off to the side, get them out of our way. All right. Yeah, that was a lot of napkin. Oh, and this. And piece. that one, too. All right. All right, so now we need to get our little tube ready. So um, these one, this one is pretty good. I like the straight edges. Mine might be a little fixing. Okay, and we do have that little paper cutter, oh, which is in the other room, if we need to. Actually, I'll grab it because we'll need it for... I thought I had everything. Silly me. What was I thinking? Yep. Now I'm the queen of the video. Peanut gallery. But. What indeed? What? What indeed? Okay. What? I decided to grab the ink too because, you know. I feel like I'm screwing up. Yeah. Here, use this as straight edge. Yes! I don't know why I kept on going. Now there's I don't bits there. I don't see that. Okay. So I'm going to move these ones out of our way. We might do some more of these later. but So it works easier Help. <laughs> if you go upside down so that the cut edge is here because this is the longer. Okay. Right here is the part where you push against mm -hmm. and that will keep it square. So then you just slide your slide your thing up to where you want to slice it and put that down. That can just slip inside and off you slice. Yeah, should be good. Let's take a look and see what happened. Uh -huh, it's... What's going on at the top here? What's that about? Let's just snip that. Uh, technical difficulties. Technical Look at this. Difficulties. Yeah. Okay, so that was the next thing I was going to talk about. So, if your envelope flap is coming up a bit, find another one too. Maybe there's another one back there? Thought there was. Yeah, okay, so like this one is completely apart. And maybe you don't mind that, but um, I find that really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Just glue it? So just glue it down. Um, you can either use, I mean, this glue, glue stick, glue -hoo, should be fine. Just mm -hmm. make sure it's good and covered, and then stick it down. And you don't want really it to stick on, uh, on the inside. You only want it to stick on the other Part so that it makes a perfect little loop, right? We've been talking about loops all this time. Okay, next. Uh oh, I think I'm at the end of my rope here. All right, so now this is really simple. So we're going to orientate this so that um, the loop is this way, right? Okay, so you want me to do this? Oh, but it'll be behind, so it's not like you'll see it. I mean, it's not like you'll see it, but. Okay, so I'm just going to reach in front of you here and grab out some scrap papers. Boy, I apparently can't do this with one hand really well. Alright, so scraps. all we need is scraps because this is just from school, school scraps. So all we need is to just reinforce just the front portion of the pocket here. So, so, make it just a bit longer and fold it inward. <clears throat> uh, no, we want it to be sh slightly shorter. Slightly shorter than the, the length of the cut side. Oh, so like this? 
is that which way is yours which way is yours open <clears throat> so your cut side is here so we want this to come along here oh, okay but be shorter than it and then we want to fold it in half so it's got extra strength so for example on mine okay it's going to be the same thing as yours actually because our envelopes are the same i think I'm just kind of measuring with my finger. This does not have to be perfect. It'll be accurate. Okay. I'm going to cut this in half. Again, it's just eyeballing. I'm not even worrying about measuring it. Then I'm going to fold these in half. Simple as lining up the corners. Okay. And this one in half as well. I'm going to line up the corner. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to hand this to you and you can do it now. You saw what I did? Right. You kind of put your paper here and kind of put your finger on where you want to cut it at for the width, <laughs> the, the length, right? So, so we want it shorter, right? Like so about there, yeah. I'm going to just cut it here. Yep. The suspense. The suspense is killing me. All right. Too big. And then you slice it smaller. I wondered because you'd slit it a little, but try it. Just cut a little piece off. How much? Too much. Just a little. There. Try that. That should fit in. Let's see. Will that work? That can go in the garbage a little scrap. Yes, that'll work. Okay, and then eyeball this in about half. And then fold your pieces in half. This way, in half. Yeah. Then I can get this paper cutter out of here. In half. This space <coughs> so that you can have them to fold. So you need this half. Like this. Or the other. The lengthwise. I put the, the pattern on the inside. Yeah. And then we're going to glue these shut. I'm way better at paper that is not so thin or narrow. Okay, so now I have a strip with a folded edge and the cut edge on, so on this side. It doesn't matter if it isn't perfectly lined. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once again, you see what I'm doing? Running the glue down on one side. On just one? Yep. So... I have to bring a paper in so you can see me do it as well. Yeah. And so you then, can see me epically fail. And then just <laughs> the first attempt. That crease it good. right on there. There we go. So I have two strips now. Like fold it edge. It. Yep, fold mm -hmm. it over and press down and make it as flat as you can. A little thumb pressure on that folded edge will be nice. And then you want to pick your side that's the nicest, probably the part that's like got um, uh, no, like where if you don't line up, you want the part that's not lined up on facing upward. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then we put glue on just one side, the whole thing. See that? The whole, whole thing's all gluey. And then we ever so carefully open this up, and we want to keep the folded side to the cut edge of this thing. Does that make sense? The folded side is going to be just a little smoother. And so there, we're putting it on the inside and just press it down on there. So, tuck it in ever so mm -hmm. gently, and the top's broken so it makes it easier to get it in. Not like you need to break it though, because that's not you need. Mm -hmm. And then you, you push, push down. Yeah. And so it should only be sticking on one side. It should be like that. Is that what happened? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Great. Alright, so for this part at the top here, now that you've done that part, we're going to crazy glue just the top little bit. Yeah, because it's driving me crazy. Because it's not going to be nice later. Okay, so we're just going to close that little tiny corner like that. With a little bit, sorry, not crazy glue. Tacky, tacky glue. glue. Why do I always say crazy glue? You keep messing no. up. Can we do the other yes. side? Yes, you got it. So still the front. So we want to go around. 
I'm going to put this one as the side that I like that side best. Oh, no, Rachel. I got bad news. What? You need to use my glue? No, that's the glue you bought. So while you work on yours, I'm going to grab another glue stick. Of course I'm not. So, do you guys like Uhu? Because I like it. I actually use it like at least once a week. <laughs> oh, hilarious! Because right. I use mine every day. Right now, I use it twice a week. Because <laughs> it's the second day I've used it. <laughs> oh. We're on Sunday. How did you have a second day this week? I'm confused. Your week has a different amount of days than mine, apparently. Yes. Mine has 37 days. Alright, when you're ready. I think this is finally ready. Okay, except. so. Yeah. No, yeah. Wait. Looks like. Yay, it didn't, it didn't glue on us. <laughs> Alright, so this is the easy part. Take your glue stick and completely cover the front of your envelope. Just simply. Get it on there really good. Take your napkin. <laughs> Get it on there real good. And place the napkin on there. I am going to just use that corner, I think. You can figure out what part you want on there. Oh, I didn't I'm exactly, struggling. I didn't exactly cover that top part. That's okay. So you'll get to see what happens when you screw up because it's okay. not work. Works in progress. You want to do that before the glue dries, sweetie, as soon as possible. But I wanted it on the spot that it liked. <laughs> yeah, I know. When my glue is wet, it's a problem, though. All right, so then you just tear it off, kind of, <laughs> right by, and then we'll save this other part for later for another project, whatever. And that's it. Now it's trim it up, and decorate. So really? I, uh, that's it? Gotta do that corner there. If you can, trim it after it's dry. It would probably be easier, but for the sake of the video, I kind of wanted to just show what it looks like with the edges neatened up a little. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, mine's the first attempt, so yeah. This is my second attempt, because I've had the prototype. Now, I've obviously done napkin decoupaging before. Just applying the same skill to a different project. Which is a lot of what crafting is, I think. You ever notice that, Rachel? You learn how to do one thing, and then... Oh, snap, where's the scissors? Oh. You've lost your scissors. Can you again. please take care of that, because, yeah. I can take care of that. And I'll, Maybe. I'll need that scrap to fill up that spot. Okay. Something, something. Sure. I mean, I should be speaking louder. This is me trying, and then I forget. And then you forget, and then what? All right, so the other <sighs> trick I wanted to show you with this This is scissors is struggling. Can I use the sharper one? This one? That is the sharper one. This is? Yeah. So the other trick is to use either sandpaper or an emery board, and just go along your edge, and it will take off your bits and make it just even with your um, envelope. So it kind of, it does make a soft rough edge, but it's not chunky, if that makes any sense. So we watched a movie last night as a family. Yeah, we did. We watched, what's it called, do you remember? Nope. <laughs> oh no. Secret, I think. Secret something with Owen Wilson where he's the, the dad that's the superhero because he has the gadgety thing. Did you want any of this stuff? Yeah. Okay. There's a blob of this eraser stuff. I mean, yeah. This is not eraser. Right, I'm just wrecking it more. I should just stall up. <laughs> Alright, so decorating time. I am not um, even decorating. Can you pass me that little dish of all the goodies that you made? Goodies. So many goodies. I was thinking about one of the leaves, maybe? Or the pumpkins. You have so many pumpkins. Are they in here? Yeah, I think so. 
Oh, the sunflowers are nice too. Most of them are in there. Hard to pick, you know. Oh, there's some cute pumpkins. up that hole. It won't look perfect, perfect, but less noticeable. That's what to decide what size of pumpkins I want. I think I want to do pumpkins. You want to do pumpkins? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that was really cool. I want That's to do small. leaves, but I got tons of leaves though. There is tons of leaves. So I don't, I don't know if that will. All right. Stay. So what did you do? You just did this. That wrong way. So you have the good side up. And you pull away from the good side across the edge, and the edge helps to cut it because it puts something stiff behind it. Okay. Yeah. That seems too small. It's actually not bad. Maybe a bit big. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. And this one's got to stay at the front because I think I might want to use that one. Later. I am going to fussy tear this. This is on watercolor paper. Like I said, Rachel went to town last night and then a little bit today, too, before we fired out the camera. I think I, uh, I actually did the pumpkins today. And oh, were they done either? Yeah. Nice. All right, so I fussy tore this a little, and so now I'm just going to ink the edge a bit. And this is just, um, this is the Paper Salon coffee bean ink pad that was totally done and then I re-inked it with the distressed ink and ground espresso so that's what's in there and so I'm gonna actually go along the edge oh it's turning up beautifully yeah it's looking really good it's amazing how much having the right tool for the right job works hey? so this just it's very much a subtlety on here all right but I like it okay so then the next thing will be I'm going to put this away because it looks like you're using the emery board. The next thing is to choose some fabrics and... Okay. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Like laces or... I don't think we have any orange in here. Oh, maybe we do have a little. There's this red, which I don't mind. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready for decorating as you're... Yeah. <laughs> reach across me. I'll reach across you. Yeah. And we work together. Good times, good times. It's like an octopus, mm -hmm. except we only have four arms. <laughs> four arms. Mm -hmm. See, four arms. I really like this. That's quite big for that, hey? But it's not bad. Uh, is there something smaller? Ooh. That's pretty. It's cool that you'd be layering um, the napkin with a leaf. That's your own art, I think. I like that. Now I'm going to do something to tear it. Oh, I like this on there. That makes me happy. And then something behind here. Maybe some cheesecloth. And I'm looking at you, Rachel. Because you got the cheesecloth behind you. Mm. Behind you on the hook. <laughs> right there. Can you cut me off a little square? Uh, this? Yeah, or just pull it around and I can cut a piece. <laughs> Got her. Ah. Uh, you want to give me the coffee dyed one? That's white. I think there's coffee dyed in this one. This one? I think so. Cut it. All right, thank you. I just have a little thing hanging on the wall here, so sometimes it's just nice to have. I was in the moment and then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. I was trying to put Etsy orders today together. That's what was happening to me. Everybody was needing things. It seemed like... I was wanting to get stuff on Etsy, but I mean, I'm not going to rush that. That'll happen. Yeah. Alright, so I think... Like Slowly. That. Uh, I like that. And I like that. I'm going to put this down, because I know I like that for sure. This might sound crazy, but painting these took me like two hours to do. Well, you did do quite a few, right? Yeah, and then I did paintings and stuff. So I'm just putting a, a bead of glue down there, and I'm going to put kind of a circle here. And then, I'll just pop this on the top. You see, look at that. It doesn't really stand out, it's just so I might want to put it right here. Ooh, that's you better. might want to, 
Oh my goodness, I just lost my phone. Okay. You might want to ink the itch. Oh, you knew what I was going to say, didn't you? Can I have an orange ink if there is one? Yes. Or just, if there's a red one. You're going to have to wait two seconds while I get this in because I don't want my paint to dry. Are you using this? No. I just pulled it out in case we did want to use it. Because I might. Okay. Oh, it was this way. All right. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to need a little dot of glue to put this. I don't want this uh, cheesecloth too far over the edge because I don't want it to interfere with the go loading in and out of the pockets and the bands. So I'm just going to make that go there. Okay. All right. You said red ink or orange ink? Yeah. Okay. So there's, this is quite a nice fall color. Yes, it is. And then you do have orange too. Just to see what I can find here. Why are they always at the bottom? I mean, we just used them in the last video. I can use this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yellows. Can I have a sponge? Uh, no sponges available. Sorry. Okay. Just I, kidding. I can make do. Just kidding. With the ink itself. It's bound to be something. Yeah, you can use an ink pad. That's true. <laughs> I think this was with the red one. This really makes it all light up. It really pops out now. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Right, the yellow. But now I'm going to make it tone down. Alright, so now that I've glued this on, I'm just going to flip it over and cut it flush to the edge of the envelope. Envelope, however you say it. I feel like having a sentiment there. A word, some kind of word. Let's see. Three inks later, and this is the winner winner chicken dinner. Oh, I like it. That's really pretty. So. Now that it doesn't pop out as bad. That could be nice. I'll glue it. Except I might want to add stuff. Beauty. Maybe this beauty. And the brownie orange color. Although the red seems to tie in with the topper. I kind of like that. We wouldn't have to do the same one, but that's the one up and down one looks like. Where are all the other? Faith. Okay, this one is cute too. You know what? If you want to use the beauty one, that's What's fine. This? Happy. Maybe I'll use this one. It's a little verse. This was a stamping up thing. I used to be very big into stamping up. Alright, I'm going to fussy tear this. Did you find what you wanted? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way then. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Bless you. It was more of a cough. <coughs> It's still happening. Hey, all of a sudden had a dry throat. Alright. <clears throat> like I was saying, which I was saying absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as I was about to say, because it was in my brain and then the cough came out instead. That I hope this is going extremely well if you guys are doing this along with us. Yeah, I hope you are having fun too. All right, I'm going to try, you know what you did, I'm going to use the ink pad, I think. Copycat. <laughs> yes, it's good. It's a good copy thing. It's always good to copy people if you see something yes. that uh, you want to give it a try. It's how we learn and grow, and then we make it our own. But do not copy what I just did. I just... What did that you was do? a mistake. This is what you should I not do? I accidentally had glue right here, oh, no. and I also laid it on top of it, and now the front's sticky, so now I'm moving it to a different spot. That is unfortunate. Right, I'm just going to put these to the side, because I figure we'll probably use those colors again later. Beauty. Now, I actually want it to overlap now. Oh, I want this. <gasps> that looks beautiful. That does look I good. like it. <laughs> I, think, I think I want to cover... More of the gray space than the other space. So I'm going to go there. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see if this is going to stick. I'm not sure because it's going to go over a corner of the cheesecloth. Um, do you have more of this lace? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> That's Thank as you. much as there is. Okay, well, I'll make it go here then. 
It's okay if you pass me the tacky glue. I know. Yours, they're tacky. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to give myself a new piece. Alright, so when we put this on a page, we're going to go down the sides uh, where it's open, just like this. Yeah, I didn't use the tacky glue. Yeah. <laughs> I might have needed to use it first. Right here, I'm uh. done. <laughs> I was just doing it while you were busy. Okay, so here's our page. It opens here. I guess it doesn't matter. It can be on either page. Ow. Okay, and I'm going to put it right in the center. Right there. All right, and we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna come back to it later, and then you can see how that works. All right. So while she's doing that, I am going to grab these three. Okay. I've got a plan. You know what? And my plan involves them being done at the same time. So I am going to pull off pages off my glue book and then we'll see how this goes. Alright, alright. You want that, that, and that. Okay, right next to each other. Put this right on the middle, I guess. Let's overlap this. Doesn't need to be so perfect as, as it was. Alright. But these have to be right next to each other. I don't want them right next to each other, I guess. They don't have to be. I want to try that, though. I'm going to put those out of the Whoa. Sorry. You don't need them. I'll put them out of the frame for now. All right. So this is when you decide that you are so skilled <laughs> that you're going to mass make. All right. Here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> so I'm gluing across the top. All of those. Then, I need one of the new ones. I'm making my stuff beautiful because okay. it's called beauty and it needs beauty. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Like that. Now it should stay. Now I'm going to go to the bottom half. Because I wanted to see what this napkin would look like with a bright color, uh, a, a, light, a light color, a bright color, and a darker color. I wanted to see what the effects would be, if it would be any different. Man, this, we are so warm that my glue stick is just smearing. All right, so I'm just going to reactivate this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and we have a fan in the background. Yeah, we do have the fan going in the background, again, in this video, too. All right, now I'm just going to take my glue pages off from underneath. I realized it could have been sharper. So. We're just going back in for our second try. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm going to cut out my my belly band slash bookmark. These ones could probably go for either. Or I could try tearing. Definitely faster. You need other ones? What, am I allowed to use one of those? Absolutely. And I don't care that the corner came exposed. I, I like the look. I go very slow. Well, it was your first one, so I was yeah. very slow on my first one, too, because I wanted to figure it all out. Are you ready for the next one? I was wanting to add bling, actually. Oh, well, bling is right here. Well, I'm going to decide if I'm going to use bling. Okay, well, right well, I want... Go, yeah. go grab it then. I was in the middle of doing a tutorial on this time. <laughs> it's close enough, you can grab stuff. And now I'm back with glue instead of bling. Oh, well, that's blue. Blue, glue, I guess. Alright, so then I'm going to cut between these though, because I don't want to... I'm going to try my best. This is not my best, so what I'm going to do here... <laughs> <laughs> Look at you go. Is That's I'm gonna, a lot of glue. 
glitter glue, Mom. I got it right, hey? Yeah. And now all of a sudden, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. I really like how you did that. Now Shiny. you're giving me ideas, hey? No. All right. <laughs> so I have three. Did you want... There's these two if you wanted to try. Anything? Let me know what you want. And you like this one? No, I'm working on these. These good. You can work on those. Okay. There's more. Oh wait, there's more. All right, this one needs to be on top, hey? So much for that, Mom. I know. Hey, miscommunication. No, you don't get to use my art I just started. Gail, yeah, could you hand me another one of those? Which kind of napkin do you want? The small the same one? one. Or the, okay. We've got lots of bits. And there's a long strip on here. Do you want? I'm just trying to keep up with you. No need to try. You just do your own thing. Yeah, well, we want to finish this video. Oh, maybe. End. We're getting there, though. We're, we knew what we were doing a bit more this time, so that helped. Alright. Okay, splat. Did it randomly. And here we are. This is how I turned out. <laughs> <laughs> Her splat, and you land here randomly? No, you were playing there. <laughs> I was? <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you so. <laughs> Only as much as God plans it, maybe not us so much. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, so it curls for me. Yeah, mine curled a little bit too. That's just because the paper is wet on the one side more than the other. Because it's thicker paper, so sometimes that happens. I am just or it's a kind snipping of paper. it. Oops. See a poorly cut I did that. <laughs> the good news is. Thanks. Yep. This is magic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is magic. <laughs> I I never realized I could do this. A very quick way to clamp an edge. Alright. So I do like the different colors. The color is definitely showing through more now that it's drying. I feel. And you get the, the color coming through, but you also have the napkin, so it's like two layers of goodness, and then it just adds a little bit more interest. So we're going to get these down, and then these decorated and then that will be our yeah, video for today. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring in our all of the projects that we did today and then you can see just how productive we were. <laughs> Says no. Last one here and I gotta do. If I have my fingers out far enough I can do my nails at the same time. <laughs> I just gonna like clip myself. So funny, that felt weird. I wasn't expecting it. Alright. I feel like I'll put everything on Etsy once I actually make my Etsy. <laughs> By the help of you. Mm hmm. Because. I don't really have a use for this stuff. Like, what? Well, if you don't have a use for a bookmark, is it because you're not reading? Wow, you just roasted me. <laughs> yeah, and also because they don't make journals. You do. I do make a lot of journals, that's true. We'll teach you how to make journals too, and then you can be making some yourself. Oh, and then I can actually that use these. Fun. It's just if you have a journal All with right, them. Alright, so this is quite the mess. And I'm just gonna use my glue book here to transfer stuff to the trash. 
off. Um, with our fan, does that ever want to float all over? Okay, put those away. Always nice to keep the desk clear. Okay, so this one had rounded corners, which adds a different, uh, oops, adds a different layer of interest. And these ones are square corners. Um, either of these can look really good on a journal page. Let's see, Let's see here. Where did I put those? Oh, okay. I just got water glue all over myself. Sucks to be you. Yes. Doesn't suck to be me. Um, You're supposed to say yes. <laughs> what? Well, I'm trying to figure out where I had placed those leaves, those little leaves in the packages. I thought I had left them here because I wanted to use them. Leaves. Yeah, you remember you said they were so pretty, didn't I use them on the journal? Remember those little skeletons of leaves? Uh, ah, oh well. Who knows where they went now? Who knows? All right. Stamps? No, they were stickers. Or not stickers, but they were to attach on. Oh. I'm just going to look through here and see if I can find something else then. I just am going to add leaves probably in a corner. I just wanted to do something different than add the watercolor stuff just so that, you know... Each one is a bit uh, like a new idea. You know what I mean? Well, these are sometimes yep. somewhat interesting. <laughs> I like these ones because they are kind of more neutral or uh, muted tones, but then also they are, have books in them, which makes sense for a bookmark. Yeah. I'm going to pull this out because maybe. Just maybe. Maybe one of these. I added we'll one of my watercolors. So, watercolors what are in. these for? Uh, well, we'll talk about that after the video, maybe. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm still Oh, these are gorgeous. If you do say so yourself. Because I made them, yeah. <laughs> I think yours are absolutely... Oh, here they are. Big grief. These, this is what I want. And then I also have these that I have made. <laughs> this shoves I them to my side. Hand. They're hilarious. And then there's also these stickers. I'm just going to do a quick look through here and see if I... Well, these ones are the animal -y ones. <gasps> oh, so I, I want him. He's not a sticker. He's I just a assumed. Oh crap! I just assumed the hedgehog's gender. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I noticed that. I don't know how you could tell. Oh, look! Look right there. That's cute. Yep. Wait, is it a sticker? You just peel stuff off? I don't know if it's a sticker or not. You might have to check. No, it's not. I think it's chipboard, right? There's also birds, those are nice. Birds, except I'm just gonna put this guy on for my theme. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm just thinking for myself too, right? Yeah. And then I think I have some other stuff at the back. Okay. Back here. I'm just gonna add some depth into this. All right, I guess the stickers aren't for me right now. Okay, so I've got a couple of different options. I'm gonna do some with the leaves, some with these, and then some with these. So let's figure out what we want to do first. I think the yellow one with this. I like this yellow guy. I feel this like there guy. needs to be a verse or something. Okay, um, the words are right here. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Orange one or the yellow one? I don't want the orange one. Oh, there's a lot less orange that came with that. Most of the orange stayed back here. All right. Um. Hmm. I think I want something behind that. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
What do you want? I need the, I'm going to stick this over here for a sec. Use this one. I need the uh, fabric scissors, please. Somehow that didn't come back to me. Yep, because they don't want it. Mm hmm. I know. And that's, and that's how we roll, come. folks. Alright. I'm going to put this, well, I kind of have to put this on an angle because I can't put it on like that. So I think I'm going to put a strip and then a little bit of this and then my sticker. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. Where did the tacky glue go? Nowhere. Hey. Excuse my boarding house reach. Your what? Boarding house reach. Means I'm reaching across in front of you. Yeah, that, that was me not that long ago. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was me not long ago, if you can't hear me. <laughs> I feel c too quiet. Yeah, that's not you in real life, hey? And then I feel too loud. Then we all feel you're too loud. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, not kidding? Yeah. Something like that. All right. So now I'm going to put on some of this little cheesecloth-y stuff. And then I'm going to put my sticker on. And the sticker is pretty sticky, so we're going to give it a shot. Let's see if it'll stay. And if it doesn't, then we'll do the tacky glue on it, too. Ah, it's getting some of the tacky glue from behind the cheesecloth, so I'm not actually ripped out. Alright, and so then it just has some strings hanging down, which I don't mind a little bit, but that's a little long. Let's not get excessive, hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so pretty simple. Three elements on here. Two pieces of fabric and... Uh, you know what? I want a button. Watch out, my girl. Oh, oh this is going to be such a disaster. Can I have the red glitter glue? Okay. You go grab it, and I will oh. see about grabbing buttons. Well. So we're not crossing each other's path so bad. Oh, there's my white ones. Yeah, so mean. Just bad that way. Pink. Blues. Boy. All I want is like brown or yellow will work. I feel like the camera has shifted. <laughs> the camera hasn't way. shifted actually. Mm -hmm. I've been very careful not to have that happen. Okay. Mm, red glitter glue. Alright. Yes. Not gonna be extra good. So these I have fasteners in. In all according to color. Ooh. I am you really have a steady trying. hand, huh? I am really So I have things trying. like um, eyelets and brads and buttons of various kinds with the shank and with holes. Four, two, and there's even some sequin type things in here. So what do we want? That's almost the same size. I don't think we want that. I am focused. I see that. I feel like putting something down here. So those are like matchy matchy. So that's one idea. And the other idea. Uh, it doesn't seem right as I try to this to not match. Look at that. Oh, that turned out well. I, I tried. It doesn't seem like... Take I point. like it. I think it's good. I All can't right. read that this is an H, though. Wow. Real yes. well. Because you can't read handwriting real well? I guess. <laughs> that could be. That could be part of it. Alright, so I'm going to just put this khaki glue down on there. And I'm going to work. These buttons on. And I'm kind of making them a bit random. I'm not lining them up. I want it to be just interesting, different, and this, that sort of thing. Now this makes this Oh, shame. what happened? There it is. Look at that. The leaves look so much better with the glitter on it. They made it look oh, yeah. I like more I red. Next level, right? I feel like I'm like in the glitter glue phase today. Yeah, you seem to be. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a problem though. Alright, so we're gonna just put those away for now. 
And if you hate, um, if you hate this stuff on, put glue on top of it. It'll, it'll rub.